So we've been given the opportunity by Toshiba, well Toshiba, like we're quite friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm only joking. Anyway, so Toshiba have sent over three of their top quality SSDs. Now these are terabyte SSDs, 2016 version. And what we're gonna do with three SSDs, you ask? Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add them as RAID zero. So that means redundant, array of inexpensive disks. Well, these are not disks, these are SSDs. So it's kind of not true, and it's kind of not true about the redundance, redundancy of it. It's all about speed. So let's press on and let's see what these babies can do. So now what we got to do next is go into the BIOS screen. So normally you'll click delete, 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 because it's a Windows computer and then you'll eventually get into the bar screen well that's what you're greeted with and then in the bar screen you need to go to a thing that's called SATA uh, configurations and you click into that and then you go into SATA mode selection this is a gigabyte motherboard so links in the description down below of hopefully be able to help you how to get into your bar screen and do this and you've got eight uh, AHCI uh, or RAID. So I'm going to need to select RAID. So I click down to RAID, and then that's not all. And then you got to come out of there, and then you go to um, Storage Boot Option Control, and then you have it on Legacy only. So I select that, and then I'll go to um, Save and Exit. Done, and then you click Control and I. And you have to be quite quick so you can get to the RAID screen, which is this one. Now in here it says create RAID volume and your menus and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to create uh, RAID 0. So you can see that I've got three drives and the ports that it's in at 953.8 gigabytes. So actually terabyte drives and they're all exactly the same. And it says non-RAID disk, non-RAID disk, non-RAID disk at the moment. So I'll go to here create RAID volume and then I'm gonna call it volume one just and you can call it whatever you want and then I'll press enter and then you've got RAID 0 which is striped or stripped whatever you want to call it and you can go to mirror which is RAID 1 where you've got loads of drives and you've got redundancy then so if one drive fails you can just plug another drive in and it'll copy all that information from the other drive that didn't fail onto the other drive that is your new drive but we're not talking about that we're talking about RAID 0 so I select uh, RAID 0 I'll go to select disks so I press enter again I've got three drives and I press uh, spacebar select spacebar select spacebar and it says select two drives to six disks uh, which are ssds they're not disks but anyway so i've done that press enter and it's saying strip size 16 kilobytes but it says on here on different uh, motherboards are up to date raid zero is saying 128 kilobytes now i'm thinking 128 kilobytes is that it means that it will have a faster performance and there's not really anything to worry about redundancy because if that drive fails, one drive fails, you've lost everything. This is all about speed. So I'm going to do it to 128 like it says and then press enter and it says my capacity is of like 3 gigabytes which works out to be 2861.6 gigabytes and I press enter and it says create volume enter warning all your data selected on the disk will be lost so it means that if you've got a solid state drive of all your pictures videos and everything on and you think you can do raid zero altogether without losing it you've got nothing coming make sure that you back that up somewhere else and all these drives that you've got that you want to do and stripe as raid zero make sure there's nothing on there that you want yeah then you just press enter or press yes so now saying Toshiba Q300 Pro and all the model serial number and where I've got it in connected to the SATA connector it says a stripped um, 128 kilobytes uh, it's 2.7 terabytes overall and it's got one volume uh, one and it's RAID 0 and everything's all ready and set up so now I can also delete it as well if I want to so you just go down down on the keyboard and then you press escape and what I'm going to do is put my Windows 10 drive in so I can just put all this on one drive so that's my Windows 10 on there it says confirm exit so yes 
Now I am going to press delete to go back into the BIOS and make sure that everything's set up or is it set up already? Let me have a look. Now it's going straight into Windows already. So that's what happens, it boots to Windows. So I just gotta wait till Windows goes on. Right, so now I've got the Windows uh, logo up here. So you just um, set it up how you want to set it up. And what is it? I'm on United Kingdom. Next, install now. And it says setup is starting. And this is what we're going to be doing. So we've got the Windows uh, 10 operating system. And we want to get three solid state drives onto that operating system as one drive for optimal performance. And that's what we're doing. So I'm going to put it on Windows 10 Pro. Accept. And then we're doing a complete custom uh, clean drive. And as you can see, I've got three solid state drives. I don't know if you can see that, but three solid state drives and they're all combined into one now. And I'm just going to go, I'm not formatting or anything like that because it's already good. Everything's already been formatted and done. So I just go to next. And then that's how it is. That's how RAID 0 is done. Now, we're, all we're going to be doing is after we've got this, going to download Crystal Disk and check the performance of uh, RAID 0 with three drives and see what performance we get. We already know what we get with one. SSD um, that I've done a review on. The card will be up on the right or left hand side and uh, yeah, take a look. Uh, it says copy in Windows files. That was really, really quick. quick. Quite impressed with that so far. But then that's what we're going to do. We're going to bench mark it and uh, see if there's any additional performance from having one SSD to having three SSDs. Alright, so what we've done now is that we've installed Windows 10 onto the operating system and as you can see it says local disk which is um, the one drive, so there's three drives combined into one and it's saying 1.98 terabytes. I'm not really, don't really understand why it's saying that because it should only be one terabyte but it's saying 1.99 terabytes but we're going to check the performance now and that's three drives combined. So. Everywhere on the internet, people have done two solid state drives or two uh, hard disk drives and they're just talking about RAID 0. Well, I'm talking about RAID 0 with three drives and let's see what the performance is. So I've got crystal disk and I'm just going to do all the uh, sequential speeds and see what performance we get. We already know that it's 2016 and NVMe is like the top for ultimate speed of PCI. So... I don't know how fast this we're gonna get out of this, but that's pretty fast. Okay, that's that's pretty damn fast. That's nearly that's over triple the performance that I would expect. I'm quite shocked. Okay, but just bear in mind that these drives are like three hundred and eighteen pound each, so they're technically not inexpensive. But it just shows that if you've got any solid state drives that are all similar, that you can get similar performance. That is truly quite fast. And it's not even going through PCI. It's just going through SATA with a data transfer of six gigabits per second, or up to six gigabits per second. I'm quite shocked at the speed that I'm getting. So I'm basically got three solid state drives and I'm pushing them to the the most performance or the, the most efficient way that I can, just using SATA six connection and not PCI. I don't know how it would be if I was doing video editing or gaming, but just by looking at the results, this is a benchmark. This is the, basically overclocking your SSDs. It's ridiculous. I think I'm going to do this with another set of SSDs. Not in this video, in another video, if you want to see more about free SSD RAID array, or you want to see something like uh, RAID 5, RAID 10, or anything like that. Just loads of different solid state drives put together. But you can see clearly that this is really quite fast. This is ri ridiculously fast. I'm literally getting triple the performance or just over the performance in read and writes. So this would be really excellent for 4K. Because this is the whole point about overclocking CPUs and RAM, graphics cards. You can get it at a set price, 
but then you can get that little bit more better performance by obviously buying a cheaper processor but overclocking it with a water cooling solution or better CPU air cooler to get the more performance from a more expensive uh, CPU or RAM or obviously hard drives, go for cheaper hard drives uh, that haven't got really potential great performance and just add them together and have them at a cheaper price but the performance of a more expensive durable solid state drive or something like that. I hope you like my little background. Just I just downloaded that. It was with the package. It's nothing to do with me. All right, so we're near the end of the benching for the last set of uh, sequential speeds. I'm really quite impressed. I really am. <sighs> okay. It's pretty amazing. And it's going up still. Excellent. Well, there you have it. It just shows having three, three SSDs that are quite decent as well, I suppose. It does help. Means that you can definitely just go that extra mile. So you can, it depends though. If you want, you can have your SSDs like this separated. Whoops. Three SSDs separated. And that means you've got more uh, storage or you can combine them all to get less storage and a lot more performance is entirely up to you leave a comment down below and tell me what you would do if you had three ssds and how you would uh, how would you want them storage or mirrored or um what we've done here raid zero this is not true raid zero not true raid though because technically there's nothing saved on there but i'm it's a bit weird because i've got three drives and they're one terabyte each as you can see one terabyte each yeah I've got 2.7 gig I don't really understand but as you can see I've got the performance and I'm really really stoked about it anyway if you like these videos smash the like button if you didn't like well if you didn't like it you know what to do and leave a comment what I just said just now and I'll see you in the next one and uh, yeah I am super happy Go and buy some drives and test it for yourself. Thanks for watching.